Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your teacher today, Chris Palma. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to deal with simple interest. So we are here in our farm to have a fresh environment. So I'm requiring you to bring your notebook and ball pen para makasabay kayo lahat sa ating gagawin ngayong araw. So stand by and enjoy learning. So we have here simple interest has the formula of I equals P times R times T where I represent for the interest P for the principal amount principal amount refers to the money you borrowed from a certain individual or a certain company R for rate and T for the time so sa ating problem number 1 meron tayo ditong computing the interest so in computing the interest we will follow the same formula we have i equals p times r times t so we have here an example problem find the interest on 80,000 pesos at 6% for 2 years in solving this problem so mayroon tayong formula na gagamitin dito so we have I equals P times R times T. Pero bago yun, we have to identify first the given in the problem. Ano ba yung binigay sa problem at saka ano, ano yung hanap natin sa problem. So dito, yung binigay sa problem ay meron tayo ditong 80,000 pesos for our principal amount. Yung 6% naman dito ay represent siya sa R. And then yung 2 years naman represent sa time. So what we are looking for is the interest. After that, we have to substitute the values of our given. So for I, wala pa siyang value kaya we gonna put that, bring down. For our principal amount, meron tayo doong 80,000 pesos. Okay. Times the value of our R. R is 6%. Next, meron tayong T. That is 2. For 2 years. Okay. So, in solving this one, just multiply the problem here 80,000 times 2 that is 160,000 puunahin ko muna yung 80,000 times 2 and then times 6% yung 6% convert ko muna into decimal form that is 0 0.06 ok to compute that in Hands on, we're going to multiply 160,000 by 0 0.06. So let me show you the process para mas klaro sa inyong lahat. So 160,000 times natin yan siya sa 0 0.06. Okay, so 6 times 4 zeros. Just bring down the four zeros. Ayan. Then 6 times 6, we have 36. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3, 9. Okay, so yung mga zeros doon sa left, we don't need to multiply that one. Okay, kasi mga ano naman sila, mga zeros. Therefore, they are not significant. So after that, we have to count the decimals from right. 1, 2. So that we can cancel two zeros here, one, two. Cancel out two zeros. So the answer is 9,600. And then to write our answer in scholarly presentation, so we have this answer. Therefore, the interest on 80,000 pesos at 6% for two years is 9,600 pesos.
And now let's proceed sa ating pangalawang problem. So sa problem na ito, we are going to find the principal amount for the given situation. So the problem here is find the principal amount if the interest is 9,000 pesos, the rate is 5%, and the time is 3 years. So at the same time, we are going to use the same formula sa problem na ito. So, ang ating formula dito ay I equals P times R times T. Ito lang po yung ating formula na gagamitin. Bago yun, we have to determine first the given in the problem. Ano ba yung mga naibigay na sa problem? At ano yung ating hanapin sa problem? So, dito... Ang tanong dito ay find the principal amount. Okay. So that is P. Since wala pa siyang value, hanapin natin siya. So we have to write X. Let me use X symbol. Okay. Then sa ating R, rate natin dito ay yung may percentage. So we have 5%. Okay, then for our time, okay, sa ating time naman, we have 3 years. So, we will just write 3. And for our interest, I na-mention sa problem na yung ating interest ay 9,000 pesos. So, we have to write here 9,000. And then, Substitute the values of this in our formula. Okay. So, following the formula, for our I, we have 9,000 pesos for the principal amount. So, let me write X muna kasi wala pa siyang value. And then, sa ating value ng R, meron tayong 5% dito. So, yung 5%, when you convert that into decimal form, yan siya ay 0 0.05. Okay, paano nga ba i-convert yun? So, sino to yan siya i-convert? Just write 5. Then, converting percentage into decimal form sa whole number, ang gawin dito ay mag-move lang tayo ng dalawang places sa left. Let's start here from the right side. Let's count two decimals. So we have one, two. So yung ating decimal ngayon ay nasa left na. Dito na siya, yung decimal. So just add zero at the left. Then zero here. So ibig sabihin, 5% is 0 0.05 into decimal form. Okay. Then we have also the value of T dito. Okay, we'll continue. Okay, erase ko na muna ito dito sa right side. Okay, so for the value of T, we have 3. Let's write 3. And then, let's solve the problem. So, bring down 9,000. Okay. Then, 0 0.05 times 3. Let me show you the process on how to multiply that one. Para mas clear. Okay, so 3 times 5, that is 15, carry 1, bring down 1, 3 times 0, 0. So that is 0 0.15. Copy nyo lang yung x, bring down x, then we have 0 0.15 here. Okay. Then x times 0 0.15, that is 0 0.15 x bring down 9000 so we have here 0 0.15 x equals 9000 para mahanap natin yung value ng x we are going to divide both sides by 0 0.15 ok then we can cancel out here bring down x 9,000 divided by 0 0.15 So, uh, let me show you how to 
divide that one para mas klaro sa atin kung paano siya i hands on kasi sa mga exam gaya ng civil service exam or mga entrance exam ng universities or junior high school you need to solve that one by hands on yung calculators are not allowed during the exam okay so we have 9,000 divided by 0.15 paano, paano ba tayo mag-divide ng decimal numbers so dito since our divisor is decimal we will move this decimal into the right side so we have to count 1, 2 ok then yung ating decimal dito sa left ay nag move na siya doon sa right so ibig sabihin our divisor now is whole number 15 and then since we move two decimal places here sa ating divisor ibig sabihin we will add two zeros in the dividend or sa loob ng ating divisor dito okay next we can now divide this number by our divisor na whole number okay so we'll start with 90 divided by 15 that is 6 6 times 15 that is 90 cancelled out 90 so we still have 4 zeros left so yung apat na zeros na yun we don't need to divide that one one by one we can just add that one in our answer adding 4 zeros to 6 meron tayong ayan 60,000 okay let's go back to our problem before I'm going to tell you the scholarly presentation of our answer so yung ating purpose sa number 2 ay computing the principal amount and we have this problem na binigay kanina find the principal amount if the interest is 9,000 pesos the rate is 5% and the time is 3 years so sa problem na ito yung ating hanapin dito ay principal amount so we already presented the answer So in presenting your answer, for example, nasa ano ka sa classroom, then you have to pass your answer in your teacher. So to present that into scholarly form, you have to show that one in scholarly format. So ito yung ating sample dito. Therefore, the principal amount is 60,000 pesos sa ating interest na 9,000 with the rate of 5% and the time for three years let's proceed sa ating problem number three or situation number three that is computing the rate so meron ako dito binigay na problem para explain sa inyo kung paano tayo maghanap ng rate sa ating simple interest so the problem goes this way Marvin invested his money worth 50,000 pesos in a corporation for 5 years contract what was the rate if he gained an interest of 15,000 pesos so yung ating hanapin dito ay what was the rate ok so the same pa rin we are going to use the same formula yun yung i equals P times R times T Bago tayo mag-solve we have to identify muna ano yung mga given sa problem natin Okay, so the given R na-mention dito yung ating 50,000 pesos na na-invest ni Marvin doon sa corporation That is our principal amount And then yung ating rate ay hanapin pa natin yung rate and for the value of our time na mention sa problem na that is 5 years and the last one that being mentioned in the problem was the interest so yung ating interest ay 15% so again what we are looking for here is the value of our R ok to solve the problem we have to use the formula And we are going to substitute the given in the problem. For our i, meron tayo doong 
that's the value of the interest equals the principal amount is 50,000 okay let's write close in open parenthesis para na sila magbanggaan and for our R hanapin pa siya so just write R muna for a while and T for time we have there 5 for 5 years okay and then multiply the values here so 5 times R times 50,000 that is 5 times 50,000 it would give us 250,000 just copy R then sa kabila meron tayo ditong 15,000 to find the value of our R so we have to divide both sides by 250,000 so we will write here 250,000 sa kabila din meron tayo ditong 250,000 so that we can cancel out here then bring down R dito meron tayo ditong 15,000 divided by 250,000 so how can you divide that one since our dividend is smaller yung ating divisor ay bigger Okay, let me show to you the process to do that one. Okay. So, we have here sa loob is 15,000 divided by 250,000. To make it shorter, so we have zeros here. Sa loob, we have three zeros. Sa labas, we have four zeros. So, we can just cancel out equal zero. So, cancel out natin yung 3 zero sa loob. Then, sa labas naman, we can just cancel out 3 zeros. So, para ang naiwan sa loob ay 15 divided by 250. Okay, so, i ko yung ating problem into shortcut. Remember nyo pa, we have here 250. Okay, then sa loob, 15. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do is to uh, write 0 here. Kasi 15 divided by 250 is cannot be. So we have to use 0. So 0 times 250, that is 0. Okay, bring down 15. Then we will write decimal. Another 0, kasi mas malit pa siya sa 250. Okay. Then, 150 divided by 250, hindi pa rin siya pwede. So, we will add another 0 here. Then, another 0. Then, bring down. Okay. Now, we have 15 divided by 250. So, that is... Let's try 5. We have to use experimental here kasi we don't know the answer yet. 5 times 0, 5. 5 times 5, 25. Sorry, 2. 5 times 2, 10. Plus 2, 12. So, 1 to 50. Hindi siya pwede. So, let me use number 6. Baka pwede. Okay. 6 times 0, that is 0. 6 times 5, that is 30. Carry 2. 6 times 2, 12. Plus 3, 15. Okay. So, our answer is correct. So our answer is 0 0.06 here. That is the value of our R. So yung R is rate. Ibig sabihin ng rate, dapat presented siya into percent form. So how are we going to convert 0 0.06 into percent form? So that is very simple. We will just move from left to right. Okay? Dito tayo maglagay para mas klaro. 0 0.06. So from this point, let's move into the right side by two places. 1, 2. The decimal is here. It is na yan. So ibig sabihin, that is whole number 6. Okay, percent. 
Again, so in our situation number three, our purpose here is to compute the rate, and we have this problem. So we already found out the answer. In presenting the answer in scholarly form, kapag kayo ay students, so you, you can follow this format. Therefore, the rate is 6% when Marvin gained an interest of 15,000 pesos. Pero naman sa mga magtitake na mga civil service exam or sa mga ibang universities exam, you can just go on with the direct answers kanina doon sa ating solving, yung 6% na kaagad. So dito sa aking pinakita ay ito lamang yung mga halimbawa kung paano kayo magsagot sa mga assignments niyo or paano niyo isulat yung inyong sagot into sentence. For our situation number 4, so yung ating purpose dito ay computing the time sa simple interest. So we have here one problem. Laura borrowed an amount of 85,000 pesos from her friend at 4% rate. In how many years will the interest become 10,200? So, sa pag-solve ng problem na ito, the same pa rin yung ating gagamitin na formula. We have I equals P times R times T. Pero bago yun, we have to identify first the given in the problem. So, yung mga given ay yung mga nabanggit na sa problem. So, for our interest na mention dito yung ating amount na 10,200 okay for the principal amount it was mentioned in the problem that it was 85,000 pesos so we have to write here 85,000 okay sa so ating r I mentioned this a problem na yung ating R ay 4% or 4% we have to write that one into decimal form that is 0 0.04 sa ating time let, uh, let me put X muna for the time kasi we are looking for time in this problem so solving that formula we have to follow the format of our formula i equals p times r times t so for the value of our i we have 10,200 equals the principal amount we have 85,000 close in open parenthesis tayo para hindi sila mag banggaan this refers to multiplication kasi we use close in open parenthesis and for our rate we have 0 0.04 then sa ating time wala pa siyang value so let me use x muna kasi we are going to solve the value of the time ok so we have to multiply the values here in the right side Yung sa left naman, we will just bring down 10,200 equals, okay, so 85,000 times 0 0.04. So, paano ba siya i-multiply? Let me show to you the process in doing multiplication. So, 85,000 times 0 0.04. Okay. So, there are three zeros here. Just bring down. 1, 2, 3. 4 times 5, 20. Carry 2. 4 times 8, that is 32. Plus 2, that is 34. And yung mga zeros sa left side, we don't need to multiply that one kasi mga ano yan sila. Mga zeros, ibig sabihin, they are not significant numbers. So, after that, we have to count from the right side hanggang sa decimal. So we have 1, 2. There are 2 decimals, so we can just cancel 2 zeros. So the answer is 3,400. Okay, that is 3,400x.
And then to find the value of our x, we will divide 3,400 sa kanyang sarili. Both sides yan. Pati sa kabila, we will divide by 3,400. So that we can cancel out here. Then bring down x. Then we have 10,200 divided by 3,400. So let me show to you the process. Okay, so for the process in dividing 10,200 by 3,400. So dito, as you can see, we have two zeros in the dividend and two zeros sa ating divisor. We can just cancel out these two zeros to make it shorter. So yung ating problem na lang ay we have 102 divided by 34. So 102 divided by 34, I think the answer for that is 3. Okay. So 3 times 4, that is 12. Carry 1. 3 times 3, that is 9. Plus 1, we have 10. So therefore, the answer is 3. Again, let's review for our situation number 4. So here, our purpose here is to compute the time. And I gave you the problem here in the board. So we already found out that the answer is 3 years. For the interest become 10,200. Pero sa mga students, or sa mga yeah, students na magpasa ng mga assignments sa teacher, so I have here the format in how are going to answer the situation in a sentence so here therefore it would take three years for the interest become 10,200 actually there are many formats that you can use in presenting your answer ang binigay ko po ay mga ano lang ito sample lamang kung paano kayo mag sulat ng inyong sagot and now let's proceed sa ating last problem which is the bonus problem so i have here a problem mrs bautista invested 27,000 pesos part at eight percent and the rest at 11 percent how much did she invest at each rate if her total annual income from both investment was 2460 Sa problem na ito, there are two investments made by Mrs. Bautista. To explain this clearer, so let me draw first a circle representing the money of Mrs. Bautista. Then I mentioned sa problem na meron siyang na-invest doon sa 8%. So, nag-invest siya doon sa 8%. At yung ibang pera niya ay na-invest niya sa 11%. Umabot ng isang taon, yung earnings niya dito sa 8% at saka yung kanyang earnings sa 11%, yung kanilang total, i-add mo yun, yung kanyang income is 2,460 pesos. So, ang tanong ngayon, Magkano nga ba yung kanyang na-invest sa 8% at saka sa 11%? Yun yung ating problem. Let's continue in our problem. So dito, I use X muna for the amount invested at 8% because we don't know yet the amount invested at 8%. And then yung ating amount invested at 11% is 27,000 minus x kasi ito yung ating capital or principal amount isubtract mo yung pera na na-invest mo doon sa 8% the result is yung pera na na-invest mo doon sa 11% and I applied here a table para makita ninyo kung paano siya i-solve so we have there the interest diyan ako lang siya nilipat ko yung i doon sa right side but the same yan siya kasi we have here P times R times T equals the simple interest so do not be confused with the 
that here kasi it represent multiplication. So dito, nagdamit ako ng table para may pakita sa inyo kung paano siya i-solve ng mas klaro. So we have here P times R times T equals simple interest. So dito, I apply that which means multiplication yan kasi when I if I write x here so hindi na siya pwede kasi it is confusing na so that's why I applied that but it represents for multiplication p times r times t equals interest so dito the principal amount for 8% is x muna siya then the principal amount for 11% ito siya capital minus 8% uh, 8% ito yung uh, 11%. Then sa rate natin dito, ang kanyang rate ay 0.08. That is 8%. Dito naman yung kanyang rate ay 11% or 0.11. I presented that into decimal form para mas mabilis sa inyo mag-multiply. Then yung ating time, since na mention sa problem na annual income, it means 1 year. That's why the time for both investments is one year. Then, dito tayo sa interest. So, P times R times T, we have X times 0.08 times 1. That is 0.08X. And then here, yan. So, 27,000 minus X times 0.11 times 1. So, ito na siya. Hindi ko muna siya multiply para step by step step tayo mamaya sa ating solving ok to solve that problem so ay, meron tayo ditong equation na magamit para sa ating paghahanap ng ating sagot so we have here the interest at 8% i-add mo doon sa interest at 11% equals the total interest so kanina yung interest sa 8% that is 0.08x plus yung interest sa 11% that is 0.11 times 27,000 minus x equals the total interest kanina sa isang taon that is 2,460 so ngayon as you can see our numbers here are in decimal form pareho silang dalawang digit yung kanilang decimal. So, para mas madali yung ating problem, so, this number, okay, so, dito rin, we will multiply this one by 100, okay. So, we will multiply both these three numbers by 100, para ma maging whole numbers yung interest ng 8% at saka ng 11%. So, Itong 0.08 times 100, so magiging 8x na lang yan. Plus 0.11 times 100, so magiging 11 na lang yan. Times 27,000 minus x equals itong 2,460 times 100. So we will just copy 2,460. Then add to zeros kasi i-multiply mo siya by 100 okay next just bring down 8x plus 11 times 27,000 that is 297,000 11 times x that is 11x equals okay dito meron tayong 246,000 After that Itong 8x at saka 11x We can combine them because they have the same variable So 8x minus 11x The answer is negative 3x Then itong 297,000 It transpose yan siya doon sa right side so we will subtract that from okay, 246 okay 
Okay, so this is not the result. We have negative 3x equals negative 15,000. Yung negative 15,000 ay nakuha siya doon sa 246,000 minus 297,000. So it will give us negative 15,000. And this time, to find the value of x, we will divide both sides by negative 3. Okay, cancelled out. x equals 15,000 divided by 3, that is 17,000. Naging positive na yung 17 kasi sa rule of division, negative divided by negative is positive. Okay, so the answer is x is 17. Now, let's go back doon sa equation a while ago. So, yung ating x doon, yun yung investment doon sa 8%. Okay. So, yung pera na na-invest doon sa 8% is 17,000. Yun yung ating pera doon. Yun yung sa 8%. Now, we will find the amount invested at 11%. So, kanina, that is 27,000 yun. Minus X. Yun yung pera na na-invest natin doon sa 11%. So, since the value of X is 17,000, so, itong 27,000 minus 17,000 kasi X siya, di ba? So, we will subtract 17,000. Ito na yung ating x. Ito na siya. So, the answer is 10,000. Yun yung pera na na-invest doon sa 11%. At doon po, natatapos yung ating lesson about simple interest. So, I hope guys, you have learnings from our examples a while ago. And see you sa mga next natin na videos, upcoming videos sa ating channel, sa ating grupo na to. That is Math Charger Group. Thank you so much guys and I hope you like this video and click subscribe for more updates. Thank you so much and God bless.